Hello Aries. Welcome to your mid-month reading. This is for the sign of Aries, sun, moon, rising uh, for mid-May. Can you believe it? We're already into mid-May. Um, I've already cleared my space and my cards and shuffled and infused things with Reiki. And we're ready to dive in to your reading. I'm going to start with the Mystical Shaman Oracle. And I'm going to lay down the Mystic Dreamers Tarot, clarified by the Steampunk Tarot. And then in closing, I will pull another Oracle and a Rune. Let's see what Spirit has for Aries for mid-May. What do you have for Aries for mid-May, please? Pachamama. We have Pachamama. And I'm going to um, read a portion of that, the invitation on that. Um, it's usually just a short little read. The invitation. You are a child of the earth. Now is the time to eat right, love right, and be joyous, regardless of the circumstances you may find yourself in. Be grateful for your life, your body, and all that nourishes you. Pachamama invites you to relish each breath. Embrace your joy and your pain equally and discover love through both. Let Pachamama know how much you appreciate all her blessings with an act of service, such as planting a tree helping save an endangered species, or protecting the ocean. Okay, I like that. Um, we're gonna lay down the Mystic Dreamer. First card out is the Knight of Cups. Nice. The Knight of Cups. The High Priestess. Mm. Tapping in to that intuition. Let me just open a little bit. So I remember my clarifiers. Um, What's jumping out at us? The sun. Your time to shine. Time to shine. Wow. I like this. The Knight of Cups coming in. This could even this could be your intuition coming in. Tapping into that that intuition. That knowing. Shining your light. Getting in touch with who you really are. Let's um we have the Ten of Wands. Time to lay down those heavy burdens. You're almost there. The end of this hard work you're putting in. Perhaps things are working in your favor now and coming to fruition. Um, the end is in sight. It's almost time to lay down your burden. You've been working hard, perhaps, following your passion, your desires, being consistent. Five of Cups, there's a sense of loss here.
and the Page of Swords. Gaining that clarity. Um, a message coming in. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles. Perhaps you're not tapping into all of the resources available to you. You're not seeing, perhaps, what is available to you. That's, um, clarify. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups, please. Um, we have the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Well, this is an opportunity to learn something new. Um, perhaps even a new career. Planting those seeds, something, um, something, oh, wow, let me see here, follow your intuition here with this Knight of Cups, there's an offer coming in, I believe, um, this King of Wands, follow your passions. If it's close to your heart and what you truly desire, then go after it. Uh, the King of Wands does not hold back. He knows what he wants. He goes after it. He does not hesitate. If this offer is coming in and this is what you want, this is a, if this is a good opportunity for financial growth um, to further your career and your uh, security, do not hesitate. Let's keep going here. Take on those attributes of this King of Wands. And the Knight of Wands. And take action on your dreams, your desires. Take the necessary action. Hmm. So be aware of anything coming in for you. It might be um, a blessed opportunity uh, to further your career, to um, establish more security for yourself. We have the High Priestess here who is um, in touch with her intuition. Uh, she is um, secure, stable. She weighs things out. She listens to that inner voice, that intuition. We have the Ace of Cups. Let your intuition be your guide. It will lead you to that new beginning. And you're making your decisions about your offers and what's coming in for you. Tap into that inner knowing, that intuition. Take advantage of those opportunities for the new beginning. This cup is overflowing with abundance. Um, there's peace in this card. There's abundance in this card, blessings in this card. The Seven of Swords, yeah. Gather your knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Gain the intellect, the knowledge. Um, do your research.
Ace of Pentacles, new beginning. Um, financially, um, this is a very blessed card. It's like, look at the blessings shining from the plant. Seeds well planted here. Whatever's coming in, whatever offer is coming in, there is um, great potential here. Use your intuition. Gain the wisdom and the knowledge that you need. Do the research you need. Follow your heart. Listen to that inner guidance. Plant those financial seeds. Shine your light. This is your time to shine. This is something possibly that you were meant to do. It just comes naturally for you. The Knight of Swords. Gain the clarity you need and move forward. Take action. Don't hold back. Shine your light. The Five of Cups. I came with the Five of Cups. There's a Five of Cups here. A sense of loss. Um, but she carries two of Cups. Um, do not dwell on what has been left behind. Perhaps. That's kind of what I'm... See how in this card she looks back? Don't dwell on what you're leaving behind. Perhaps there's a hesitancy to move forward and take this opportunity because of what you're leaving behind. Um... The Page of Wands. Something about your passions. Yeah. Listen to that inner voice. What are your true passions and desires? Pay attention to those messages that come from your heart, from your true passions, desires. Those messages from um, that inner voice, intuition. This Ten of Wands, this is an opportunity for you to lay down your burden. Ooh, we have the devil. Mm, I release. Lay down the burden, release um, whatever uh, is in the way, hold you back. Whatever's unresolved, release. There's a, maybe there's a hesitancy to leave behind what you need to leave behind, but It's interfering with your progress. You need to release that. And the Queen of Cups, tap into that intuition. Listen to that inner guidance. Um, deal with those um, the issues, the things that hold you back. This could be something that is from the past that is hard to release because it's, it's, it's become a cycle, a habit. It's what you know. And in order to take this new opportunity, you need to release it. Deal with it. Go within, tap into that intuition. Step into um, your true self, your the high priestess again, intuition again. She's balanced. 
she is um, impartial. Um, and relies on her intuition, her inner guidance. Listening to that inner voice. She doesn't let past experiences get in the way of her progress. She releases and walks away from the loss. She deals with the loss. She doesn't keep looking back at it. Do not look back at it. Deal with it and move forward. Sometimes we need to let go of what we're comfortable with and what we know in order to move forward and grab that opportunity when it presents itself. The moon, yet yeah, do that inner work. Spend some time in self-reflection, going inward, dealing with the, whatever it is that you need to release. Do the inner work, the healing. Um, address the issues. Embrace the dark and the light in yourself. Bring them together. Accept who you are in all aspects. Let go what needs to be let go of. Acknowledge it and move forward. Let's take another card here. The Empress, yes. <laughs> this opportunity to, to birth this new whatever this offer is um the empress is a powerful creative abundant card um she is very much um in touch with her passions and desires what she wishes to create And she does not hesitate. She takes that initiative. She begins that new project. She um, creates what it is she wishes to create. The Hanged Man. Spend that time in reflection, gaining perspective and understanding of the situation, that inner healing, dealing with the shadows. To um, take the time out when you need it. Take the time for the inner reflection, the healing, gaining perspective and understanding. And then, um, just dropped a bunch of cards. Um, and then with the Page of Swords, there's something positive here. Message, this inspiration is coming in. You could just be gaining clarity on the situation. What do you need to do to take this opportunity? What do you need to release? the six of swords <laughs> yeah gain that clarity um, 
the wisdom, the guidance, um, do your research, collect your knowledge and move forward. And the full and begin your new adventure. This is an adventure. It's a new chapter of your life. It's, it's change. Um, it can be scary, but also exciting. Um, there is definitely something new coming in for you. Be aware of what is being offered up to you. Do any of the necessary healing work you need to do. Tap into that inner, that intuition. Listen to your inner voice. Let go what needs to let go of. Do the work. Do that inner work. You don't want to miss the opportunities when they come in. new adventures here this new beginning and it, it's I really believe this is um, it's going to um, help you plant some seeds for that financial security that you seek and take action toward the victory this is an opportunity An opportunity to move forward. Claim that victory. Um, move forward towards your goals. I like that. It's at the bottom of this deck. <laughs> Three of Swords. Perhaps that's what you need to deal with and let go of. Some, uh, woundings to the heart. We all have those things to deal with. But when we deal with them, it's very rewarding and it frees us up to um, move forward, take advantage of those opportunities as they present themselves, receive those opportunities, be aware of those opportunities. We do the inner work and we do the healing work. We're more aware of the opportunities being presented to us. All right, let's pull another oracle, please. Spirit guide, angels, God, creator. Okay. Um, the sweat lodge. Sweat lodge. All right, let's see what that one says. We go. The invitation. This is a time to journey inward into the dark and hidden places of your soul to reconnect with the ancient earth wisdom. You can also create a sacred and intimate space in the dark by lighting a candle. Observe what emerges and without judging it, invite it to bring you its gifts. You are being offered an opportunity to shed and heal from the aspects of your life you have outgrown. Do not worry that you will be consumed by the process. Shed those old habits, those old. I'm gonna pull a rune. We have Kana, torch, beacon, light. Um, this is a positive rune. This is breakthrough. This is um, uncovering secrets and gaining clarity. Being illuminated. It's your time to shine here with the sun card. Tap into your intuition. Do the inner work and heal. Shine your light. Uh, gain 
that clarity. This is really good for you, Aries. I like this. Thank you so much for joining me for this reading. If you like the reading, please hit the like button. You can subscribe by hitting subscribe. If you wish to be notified of future readings, please hit that notification bell. I appreciate all of your interactions and your comments. Everything is welcome. It really helps promote the channel. And where I really have not been doing this very long and we're just starting out, um, it is much, much appreciated when you interact. Thank you so much. Have a blessed rest of the month.